Alright folks, the people wanted me to review the controller, so ask and you shall receive. Cause I got to give the people, give the people what they want, yeah, yeah, hey. Yes, sir! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay-Z, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Town. Probably need to go to the barbershop today, but you know what? That ain't even important. Coming to you live with a review of what I have here today. The Fusion Xbox One Pro Controller. And this is the uh, Power A, Power A Fusion Xbox One Pro Controller for the Xbox One. Um, you see the front, you see the back. Looks good. Nice sturdy controller. This is the this is the actual controller that I have here in my hand. And uh, you know, it's, it's a nice controller. It looks good. It's a little bit different feel. It's a little bit um, I say the grips where you grip it. It's a little bit different than that of the Xbox One. So it, it does take a little getting used to. And it's a uh. It's a tad bit different than than the Xbox, the ordinary Xbox uh, Xbox 360 controller as well. Uh, one of the things that you're gonna notice when you when you first uh, get one is the thumbsticks. The thumbsticks are actually these these are much bigger than um, than that of the Xbox or the Xbox One. So you'll see right here. You can probably see by comparison. You see see how big the the, the thumbsticks are, and I'll give you a better illustration in a moment. Uh, Looks like it's a little bit bigger than the than the Xbox, and uh, appears to, they appear to be considerably larger than the Xbox One. What that does for me, I got big hands, ain't no secret. I have big hands, so what that does for me is when I'm playing the Xbox One, it's like I got my hands on top of the on top of the uh, on top of the thumbsticks, man. It's just like it's just not really. It's not really a good a good look for me. I'm not gonna lie to you. I have I have trouble controlling it, and uh, that's why I had gone back. You know, on PC I was going back to the Xbox One because I get a little bit more a little bit more thumbs on the thumbstick. But with the Fusion with the Fusion controller, uh, power by Power A, you see how my I, my my thumb rests right in right in that cup rather than on top of it. Now some people like that, because some people have control freaks, and some people, I don't know if these are control freak friendly, pretty sure they are, if they're not, that's something I'm sure that they're going to look into. But, as you can see, the way that my thumb sits, I like for it to be nice and comfortable inside of there, rather than on top of the stick. And if that focuses, you'll be able to see. See, that's on top, and this is the fusion control with it right there inside. So that's one thing that I like. Another thing that you're gonna notice right away is the, like I said, the grip. The grip is, it's a little bit, I don't know, it's, 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 it's a little bit, at first it feels, it feels funny at first, I'm not gonna lie to you, cause I didn't, I didn't really like it, I didn't really, I was like, I, can, I don't know if I can get used to this, and I kept wanting to pull my other, pull this control out and put it back in, because I kept saying, I wouldn't have died if it wasn't for that. But after about an hour or so, you know, that's, that's about how much time it takes for you to just completely let go and get into the uh, new controller. Uh, I, just, I didn't want to play with anything else. I can't, I cannot play with those controllers at this point just because the thumb the thumb feel it's just not comfortable and, it's, and it almost makes me wonder how did I do it all these years you know do it like that all these years well of course it was because I didn't have a choice and that's definitely why I prefer the Xbox controller to the Xbox one controller because you have more thumb room but with this with this with all the, with all the thumb thumb space I mean I'm more I feel like I'm more accurate but I'm definitely more comfortable while I'm getting destroyed because I suck but you know that's not the point. That's neither here nor there. It's also a quarter controller. I like quarter controllers. You got uh, it's, it's three meters long, so that's what nine point eight feet, almost ten feet of controller. Uh, you know we round it off, round it off and say ten. Uh, you got ten, ten feet of braided cord, so you don't have to worry about people walking across the controller. You don't have to be right up on the screen. I'm right up on the screen, so I don't care if I have a quarter controller. I don't like batteries. I don't like battery anything. I don't like. Um, I don't. I just don't. I just don't. I, I, I thoroughly prefer to have a controller with a cord. I don't have to worry about batteries, I don't have to worry about charging, I don't have to worry about any of that. I'm sure they have a cord, a cordless variant or they will be coming up with one, but with the one that we're talking about today is the corded one. And um, like I said, I mean, it, it feels sturdy. It's probably about the same thing. This one feels a little bit heavier because it has the batteries in it. And uh, this one, the Xbox controller, you know, feels about the same, about the same heft. You've got all the same buttons, you know, you've got, you know, 
what A B X Y. Um, you got your two triggers on the back. Obviously, you got your start, select, uh, or the Xbox. Well, you got Xbox guide button, and then you got this little button here in the middle. And I'll tell you about that in a minute. And of course, you got your D-pad right here. You know, same thing that you've always had. But what makes the controller really, really unique, and I think that it, it makes it. It puts it on par with and, and, and allows it to compete with like uh, the likes of Scuff and the uh, Xbox Elite controller is if you don't want to drop that much money on one of those controllers, you pay, uh, this one is uh, $79.99, like 80 bucks. I'm sure you can find sales and stuff like that, but uh, I pay 80 bucks from, from Best Buy. I'm satisfied because it allows me to take it between my Xbox One as well as both my PC, uh, both my PCs, I got a laptop and I have a uh, desktop. And uh, I play games on both of them, and I play first-person shooters on both. And so I, I, I like this controller because it, it, I can play it on all of them. And the programming, and we'll get to that in a minute, uh, how you can program the buttons. But uh, let's go to the buttons. The back here, the first thing you're going to notice, you see these two switches right here. Um, take a look at the triggers for me. See how these triggers, they depress. When you depress the trigger, it goes all the way down, right? Uh, when I do that, it doesn't go down quite as far. So what that is, is it just puts it on hair trigger. So you got trigger stops is what, what they call it in the streets. So it's hot in the streets. They call it them trigger stops. I, I don't use those. I probably will uh, begin to use them, but I don't use them just yet. And you can individually trigger stop them. I'm sure you can do that with the other controllers as well. I, I, like I said, I'm not familiar with them. These buttons, um, these don't do anything. These are just for aesthetic value. Right now I'm pressing the top button and you see it makes the V oscillate. Uh, I hit it again. It oscillates a little bit faster, switches between the colors, and then after that, you can you can do a solid color. The middle button just controls how bright you want that to be. That's all it does. And then you just cycle through. And I prefer mine to be off, so I turn mine off. And then, you know, but uh, it's the same thing with the thumbsticks. The thumbsticks do light up if you hit the bottom button. I'm hitting the bottom button now, which is number two. So I'm hitting the bottom button now. You know, it allows you to, you know, I guess some people are into that. I'm not into it. And again, you can control the brightness or the hue, and then um, you can go back to zero, like I like it. And uh, that's all those do. Those just allow you to, to change the light. I mean, I guess some people like that. I'm not into it. It doesn't help my gameplay. It doesn't do anything. But now to the man of the hour or the, the, the main event, you've got these, button, or these buttons on the back. The back buttons is what I'm going to call them. And... Um, these really allow you to customize your game any way you want to. You can, the way that I hold a controller is like this, right? So what I've done is, this leaves me in perfect position to place my uh, my middle finger here, and then I've got my other middle finger here. So I've changed, the left one is Panic Knife or, or Melee, and then the, uh, and I think I'm gonna change that one to Slide, and uh, this one is Jump. So it allows me to jump without having to take my hand off the controller, and I'm gonna show you guys that. In a, in a moment, I'll show you how to program it as well because I lost my book, my three-year-old. I got it, I entrusted it to my three-year-old and my book got lost, so I, I don't have it right now. But um, I had to figure it out on my own. I couldn't even find any videos. So if you're looking for it, folks, this is where you'll find out where to do it, um, how to program your controller. And uh, it's, 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 really, it's really, really easy, but uh, some people may hold a controller like this. I don't hold a controller like that, and you know, it's not really comfortable for me. But uh, if you want to get full, full uh, use of all the buttons, you can do that. I don't, I think that having the two extra buttons will be more than enough, but if I did want to use those other buttons, I could slide. I don't think I have an issue with slide, but the ones that I want to have readily available without having to move my thumbs off of the, uh, off of the thumbstick will be these two. And that's why I program them that way. And to program them is really easy. I'm going to show you something right here. Um, I'm going to switch the camera up. And uh, what you see is right here, I'm pressing I'll uh, give you a quick demonstration. Right here, I'm pressing A, right? And uh, so the way that you would program it is you hit this middle button, boom, and uh, you hold it until it lights up. Once that, once it starts to light up, you hit the button that you want to program, or you know, the, the, the source button, I guess you would say, and then you press the button that you want it to correspond to, which is this one. And now, see when I'm pressing A, and one is lighting up, and then I turn it on the back, and I'm gonna pull the, I'm gonna press the, this button here, and you see one is lighting up. And it's the same thing with any of the buttons on the back, so if I wanna hold this, let it light up, I press B, then 
I hit that button that I wanted to correspond with, boom. And now, B is two. But like I said, I think I'm gonna change that to slide. So what I do is hold it in and then press the button that I want, which would be straight in on the thumbstick. And then hit that button and boom. See, that's number 10. Thumbstick is number 10. This one is number 10. So, you know, you can do that. And uh, you just, it, it really just allows you to, to program it in the way you want to. You cannot flip-flop buttons. Now, I know you can do that with the Xbox UI. You can do that inside the Xbox. And, I'm, and most computer games, I'm, I'm, you know, obviously you can. But you can't flip-flop these buttons. So, I can't change A with B or Y with X or anything like that. Now, the settings that I have placed into this controller, they do stay in the controller. So the ones that I program in the controller, they're gonna stay here. Those buttons, they are, they, it'll never go anywhere. So I go from my PC to my, to my laptop to my Xbox. This will always be jump. This will always be slide, which is now slide or what have you. So the buttons will always correspond. I don't know what type of uh, life it has on it or what life, type of life the memory has. It's probably insignificant. You can always program it. It takes, what, 10 seconds to program it. You saw me do it right there and uh, you saw that it works. Uh, with the split screen so like i said i mean uh one more thing that a lot of people would like to know yes it does have the 3.5 jack so it will support your turtle beaches or any other uh, any other chat it's very chat friendly and i guess you know you got the, the the xbox one with the proprietary one but you see even they uh did the 3.5 or the, whatever it is three millimeter 3.5 i don't know what it is the turtle beach the turtle beach jack even they did it because they realized that you know a good I'd say over 50% of players are gonna use Turtle Beaches and Astros, right? So, or, or some type of headset, or some type of third party headset, it's probably like in the 80%. So, you know, that jack, that proprietary jack and and, and charging people to to use it, I, I thought it was ridiculous. I do have the one that, that switches it and makes it into an Xbox communicator, but this is just so much easier. You just plug your Turtle Beaches right in, boom, you're ready to go. And you can chat right online or what have you. So like I said, man, Hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope I answered all your questions. If I didn't, I'll do the video again. I'll do it until I get it right. But I'm telling you, these two buttons here, I don't know about dead zones. So like Solid Rev says, I, I don't, I've never noticed dead zones. And it might just be because I'm always running around or because I just suck at the game. But I've never noticed the dead zone. So I couldn't tell you one way or another what it does for those. But um, I'm telling you, these buttons make a world of difference when I can just press it and I can keep my hands right on the controller. It's the grip, it's the feel, everything makes this controller for me it made it a must buy for me i bought it i can use it on my pcs and my xbox hey why wouldn't i buy it i mean and then and everything stays programmed i don't have to go and switch and do new profiles anything like that it's just all native and uh you know it's good to go so i might i might use these trigger stops i'm gonna give those a try but i think i've gotten so used to used to it this way that i um I'm going to leave it like that. But anyway, folks, I got to go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope I answered all your questions. If I didn't, leave a comment, and I'll answer it as soon as I see it. Other than that, I am out of here. Till next time. Oh, yeah. Power A Fusion Pro Controller is what it's called. $79.99 at Best Buy. I love it. I like it. You should love it. And now, I am out of here. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Town. Holla! That was so fucking epic!